guys, thanks for joining me today. We're going to be doing a live swatch of the Caloris de Carol Queens of the Sea collection. These are metallic shades with silver platinum micro flakes, holographic glitter, and multi-chrome flakies. They're super, super bright and reflective and it's so fun for summer. It just makes me feel like playing in the water. You know how when you look out at the water and the sun just hits it just right and it's just sparkling off the surface? That's what these polishes look like. So like I said, we're gonna do a live swatch of them so you can see how they apply. They are all currently available at the Caloris de Carol website, which I will put right up here for you and it's also going to be in the description bar. And don't forget that you can always use my code. It's just my name and that gives you 10% off your order. It's not an affiliate code, it's just a code for you to use to get 10% off your order. Whenever you order from Caloris to Carol, you can always just remember my name and get the savings. So you guys, let's go ahead and swatch them. I'm gonna go in alphabetical order. And before I start, this beautiful purple, I'm loving this shade on my lips today, is Zoya and it's Lane. Have you guys tried any of the Zoya lippies? They're so comfortable. So, so comfortable. Every time I grab one out, I'm like, oh yeah, these just feel so good. So nice and like powdery smooth. Love it. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into this review. The first one that we're gonna look at today is the red shade, and this one is called Coralie. And Coralie is described as a pinkish red with silver platinum flakes, micro holographic glitter, and ultra chameleon chrome flakes. I'm seeing like this beautiful orange to red shift in the chameleon flakes, maybe some pink in there too. Super gorgeous. These all have the same formula where you're going to get a nice level of opacity at two coats. You could go for three if you just want to really richen up the color of the base, but they give you good enough coverage at two coats if you want to just stop there as well. So as you can see, these apply super silkily, softly, easily in two coats. This is Coralie. The next polish is the purple and this is definitely one of my favorites just because I love purple but also the beautiful flakies that are popping in there are really fun. This polish is called Miramar and this is a royal purple. They pretty much all have the same components in in a general sense. So they all have the silver platinum flakes and the micro hollow glitter and then I think that they all have different ultra chrome flakies in there. This one basically it looks like a green to teal with purple and pink. Oh, so beautiful. Especially that stark contrast between the purple and when it's a bright green flaky. You know, it's always the same flaky. It just depends on what angle you're looking at. That's why um, multi-chrome or ultra-chrome flakes look so fun because your polish is always changing. So, very beautiful and bright. Again, two coats or three depending on you know your application, but I just did two with everything today. So this is Miramar. The next polish in the collection is Pacifica, and this is an iron blue base, and then it has the same components with the platinum flakes, the holographic micro glitter, and then I see blue to purple. Um, am I seeing some gold in there as well? It's like a greeny gold flake green, gold, blue, purple, and it's so beautiful, you guys. What colors are you just super drawn to? For me, as you know, it's blue and purple. Lots of times green, too. Um, I think that this one is gonna call your name. It's so, so pretty, so sparkling. Great at two coats. This is Pacifica. There is a black version of this polish in the collection, and it is called Perla. So they start with a black base and then we have the same components in there. This time the Ultra Chrome, because it's bouncing off against the black base, it looks a little bit like a rainbow in here. I mean, I'm honestly seeing red, pink, gold, bronze, green, blue. So maybe she's got a few different kinds of Ultra Chrome flakes in here. In any case, it does look like a little bit of a rainbow, especially with the holographic micro glitters in there. This is gonna transition very well for fall as well. So this is Perla, definitely the darkest polish out of the collection, and just such a little rainbow in a bottle. The next polish in the collection is called Ramora, and this is the only one that has a duochrome base. It's going from green to gold, but at some you know, far reaches of that green, I'm also seeing a little bit of teal. Super, super pretty. So you've got that in the base and the platinum flakes, the micro hollow glitter, and then the ultra chrome flakes. And I'm seeing red to copper to green to gold. 
Ooh, this is so pretty, you guys. Definitely one of my top picks. I'm doing two coats, as with everything. Actually, the last polish we're going to look at, I'm going to do three coats. But pretty much everything is totally opaque at two coats. And then if you want to do a third coat, just get it a little bit richer, you can. Uh, yeah, this is the one I also have had on my nails while I'm doing the talking portion of this video. Such a fun polish. So if you're looking for a duochrome version of this polish, get Remora. Next up, we have the green version of this polish, and it's called Serenity. This is actually described as a turquoise because it's definitely not a yellowy green. If anything, it's on the blue side. And as always, we have the Platinum Flakies, Micro Hollow Glitter, and the Ultra Chrome Flakies. And it's just lending so well to that turquoise base because I'm seeing blue, green, purple. Oh, it's so beautiful. Tiny little flash of pink in there I just saw too. Ah, oh, so, so gorgeous. So, this is the polish to me that feels the most sea-like. The most mermaid-esque polish. This is so gorgeous, you guys. I did two coats. You can definitely go for a third if you would like to. And this one is Serenity. This next polish is the last polish and also another one of my top picks. This one is Temptist. And this one is actually clear base, so there's no colorant added here. So it's just packed with the Silver Flakies, the Micro Hollow Glitter, and the Ultra Chameleon Chrome Flakies. So I'm gonna do three coats so that I can build up all those flakies, but it gets opaque enough for me at three coats. I don't think that this is really like a topper polish, even though it's in a clear base, because it has so many of those flakies, just making this this bright, bright silver. If you wanted to wear this as a topper, it would just totally silver out whatever you had underneath. So my recommendation is three coats on this one. And this one, I'm also seeing a rainbow of those multi-chrome flakies. I mean, green, blue, pink, gold, red, orange. It just has a little bit of everything, you guys. It's so, so fun. So I really enjoyed this one a lot and included it in my top picks, you guys. And this is three coats of Tempest. So that was the last polish of the seven piece Queens of the Sea collection. I hope that you guys enjoyed this review and I hope that it gave you a pretty good look of how these polishes are gonna look on your nails or how they're gonna perform for you. Like I said, they are already available at coloristicarol.com. So hop over there and grab some if you like this formula. I think you will really enjoy them. They're so sparkly. And like I said, just like that twinkling, glistening, glass, the sea glass on top of the water. So, so fun. So gorgeous summer inspiration for this collection. As always, Clarissa Carroll just outdoes herself every single time. So I am so glad you came by today. Thanks for stopping in. Let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite. I will see you back for the next video very, very soon and take care until then. Bye.